We're hearing a lot of talk about a war for talent out there, right? Because there's a lot of expansion that obviously seems to be happening in companies like yours. And there's a war of ta for talent out there. And also the need for reskilling is being spoken about all the time. I was just seeing you at the launch of Future Skills and you were, you were, you were talking about it there. Uh, how are those trends playing themselves out right now? No, Vikram, it's real. You know, if you ask me the number one, and I'm, I'll be so bold to say the number one challenge for the industry is just talent, right? The companies who win the war on talent win, win the game at some level. There is such a huge mismatch today between uh, demand and just availability of supply. So there's a lot of effort being put at multiple different levels. There's an effort being put at an organization level where we're spending an inordinate amount of time and money trying to reskill and upskill people. At an industry level, we're spending an enormous amount of time, you alluded to the future skills platform. I think it's an incredibly, inc incredibly important thing that people recognize the need to be constantly upskilling or they'll just get left behind. And the fact that we're doing this at an industry level where we're looking to reskill 2 million of the 4 million people who today are employed by, uh, by, the, by the industry is incredibly, incredibly important, right? So I think just focusing on reskilling talent is incredibly, incredibly important. The other obsessive focus is on just retaining talent, right? And I alluded to this earlier, but I'm a big believer, Vikram, that people don't only leave for compensation, right? People don't only leave for better opportunities. People leave when they don't feel a sense of connectedness with the organization.